Hey there. The demo rabbit holes AI. It's a canvas based tools to have multiple conversations with AI that you can interconnect. So instead of a typical chat bot where you have linear chats, we can spread our conversations spatially and ask multiple different conversation uh, questions to AI on the same canvas. So here's a quick backstory. So a couple of weeks ago, a little bit more than that, I was actually trying to learn Swift UI. And as usual, I was trying to have a lot of conversations about Swift UI with ChatGPT, Claude, Perplexity, and also trying to read documentations, going through some YouTube videos, but it was getting too, too disconnected. And I had to do a lot of tab jumping. So I'll just give you a quick example of how it might look without rabbit holes, like how I was trying to do things. For example, if I wanted to learn Swift UI, I would probably go into ChatGPT and say, okay, I explain Swift UI basics to me. Like I am a React developer. Just gonna copy that. So it's gonna just give me some information. And as you can see, it gave me a lot of these points that are the main differences between React and Swift UI. The first one is the declarative syntax, blah, blah, blah. So it has all these points, but here's the problem, right? So if I want to go deep into state management, then I would ask it, go expand on state management. But the problem is now it goes into the state management, but I will always lose the other points as the conversation keeps going on longer, I cannot really ask the same kind of points about uh, bindings or modifiers. I can still ask it, but the problem here is as the conversation keeps getting longer, it'll start hallucinating and we will lose the track of where I was coming from. Like it will eventually forget that I'm a React developer after a longer conversation. So that's when I thought I would have to build something where I can branch out from this part while still keeping my original con conversation. So I can still do that with like new tabs here. For example, if I want to just go deep into bindings here, I can do that with creating a new tab and asking, typing the whole thing again. And I would have to say expand on So now it'll go expanding on bindings, but it's also starting to generate other stuff. So it just loses track of what, what it's trying to do initially. And it's just very hard to connect these two and it's a very frictionless process. And moreover, I would generally go into YouTube and say Swift UI for React developers. I'll do some kind of search like that and it'll give me a bunch of videos. So I, I would go look at those videos and it just gets a little bit, again, more disconnected. And also perplexity is another thing where you can have multiple conversations. It will give you more information, but all these things tend to get disconnected and you're soon caught up in like a mess of tabs and you're juggling a lot of things, copy pasting the same thing again and again. So you are not really taking the full advantage of your brain's curiosity and that focus zones and just completely getting lost into the rabbit hole of learning something. So this is where it comes into the picture. So the rabbit holes, you create a canvas, it's called a demo for now. And this is how it looks. So for the beginning, you will have a chat window. So each node is a chat conversation. So I would ask the same thing here. Explain Swift UI basics to me like a React developer or the same question that I've asked ChatGPT. So here it goes. It'll start generating an answer for me. It's pretty much pretty similar to what it generated. So it's using the same API, of course. And I can just increase or decrease or, uh, the width like that. So let's say if I want to go deep into the declarative syntax. So I can create a new branch by dragging that dot like that and just saying, okay, expand on one. As you can see, it quickly picked the context from here and it's extending the conversation. So I'm going deep into the declarative syntax here. Now, if I want to go into the two, we're using composability. So I can create a new branch here and say expand on two. I can zoom in, zoom out, just scroll however I like, and it's expanding on two. And I can do this all day long. I can create 
expand on three. And a cool thing is I can use shortcuts. I can just say command right arrow and it will create a branch for me with that. And I can say expand on four. And as you can see, I don't have to wait for this to finish generating for to ask a new question. And I have all my answers ready by the time I would be done reading too. So I can like make that big or small, however I like it. So that's one major thing about rabbit holes. So furthermore, you can also bring in YouTube videos. Let's say I want to oh. learn from this video. So I'm just going to copy this video URL from here and paste, click my YouTube, paste the video. The med, it's going to generate the transcript and add it to the canvas here. So now I can also have conversations with this YouTube video. Say, explain the summary of this video. So that's the summary. So again, I want to go ask another question. What are the react similarities? Now, again, I'm giving you the context of a developer, so you can see the benefits of this. You can keep on going. You can also add web pages, add a URL. It'll pick the web page. You can also bring in files, PDFs, docs, and all, and you can just keep on chatting with them. And this will all leave your rabbit holes and you can get lost into the, uh, the topic that you're trying to learn about or going deep into. I gave you the context of Swift UI and React here, but you can do this with anything. For example, I've done some things with black holes in space. I just wanted to learn about phase and black holes. And these are all the things that I had conversations. Some of them are interconnected. Some of them are not. Just can get like really cool rabbit hole exploration like that. So I had this video that didn't want to watch the whole way. I asked it to summarize and it will summarize all these things for me. Now I can go and ask like, what's a pink epoch or how, I don't know how you say that. That is the major use case of rabbit holes. So instead of linear conversations, which are quite limiting and juggling a ton of different tabs, you can have a spatial conversation on an infinite endless canvas. This can keep on extending and connect different chats together, mix and match, go in different directions, really expand your curiosity as your brain naturally tends to, and you don't have to be limited by the constraints of tabs or other limitations by a typical chatbot. Another major thing about this thing is that hallucination is also prevented because you can control the length of the chat. So you can always keep the chat uh, within the context limit. For example, if I don't want this chat to go longer, I can just branch it out and just ask a question about two. So otherwise I would just kind of risk uh, making the conversation too long or making the original conversations too verbose and messy so that it starts giving you the wrong answers. So that can be also prevented with uh, rabbit holes. So I would love for you all to give feedback and just try the rap application. So thanks for that.